Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So my uh, Pure Innocence shawl, um, if this is the first time you're seeing the video, that's great. But if you saw my other video, um, there was a mistake in my video and I am going to address that right now. I'm truly sorry for anybody that crocheted for a really long time on it and realized that it wasn't working out. I feel terribly bad about that. Brenda, I'm so sorry for that. And anybody else, I know it was just, I just wasted all your time. Um, but I'm only human and I do make mistakes and I'm going to show you it's a very easy fix. So we'll go ahead and we'll start um, the same way that we started before. Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this shawl right here. I don't really have a lot of room to show you. But it measures from corner to corner at the top is 60 inches. And then the sides measure approximately 50 inches. Sit it down. And here's the repeat. If you can see, now it's a six row repeat. So it's not too bad to follow along. But it's got some ridging here, some puffs, and you know, chain spaces and gaps. Just a little bit of everything, I guess. That's what it kind of looks like. Okay, I'm going to set that to the side. Okay, for this project, I used a Lion Brand Coffee Cotton Blend. It is a 50% cotton, 50% polyester blend. It's really nice and soft. It's a lightweight three, and there are 392 yards in one cake, and you'll need two cakes to make the shawl the size I did. If you want to make it bigger, you're going to need a third cake. Now, you don't have to use a lightweight three. A four weight would work too, but I might suggest using um, a hook size, hook or two size bigger if you're going to use a four weight. So that's the, the yarn I use. Only I used, the color I used was called um, whipped cream. It was the solid creamy white. I don't have a label for that one anymore. And then I'm using a size H, which is a five millimeter crochet hook. And I'm going to take a second to please ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you go to the description box of this video you'll see a link where you can click in and it will auto subscribe you to my channel that way you never miss any of my tutorials or any of my other videos i do a lot of yarn haul videos and yarn reviews and i'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button so you want to start off with a slip knot on your hook now we're going to work a chain of four Now we're going to work right back into this very first chain and we're going to work two double crochets into the first chain. So there's one. And there's two. And now we're going to work a chain of two. One, two. And now we're going to work in that same stitch down here that we were just working on and we're going to work three double crochets into it. Just one, two, and three. And that'll end row one. And what you'll have now is six double crochets because this chain right here counts as a double crochet. And then you'll have this chain two, which is going to be the point of the shawl. So for row two, we're going to chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to work three double crochets into the very first stitch. So there's one. two, and three. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And 
and now we're at our chain two space. And every time we hit this chain two space, the point of the shawl, we're always gonna work the same thing. We're always gonna go right through the chain space and we're gonna work two double crochets. A chain of two and then two more double crochets all into that same space. And now we're gonna work one double crochet in these next two stitches. And now we're gonna work three double crochets right here into the top of this last chain space. So kind of go right into the top of it and work three double crochets. And that'll end round two, or row two, I'm sorry. And now you should have 14 stitches. Now for row three, now row three starts the repeat of the whole shawl. So rows, it's rows three through eight is the repeat. So we'll start the repeat. Row three, chain one and turn our work. And we're gonna work, start by putting three double crochets into the very first stitch. No matter what row you're on, you always start with three double crochets into the very first stitch. Now we're gonna chain two and we're gonna skip two. So skip, skip and double crochet into the next. And that's what you would repeat the whole, until you got to your, till you get to your chain two space chain two, skip two, and double crochet into the next. And then when you make it to your chain two space, you're gonna do the exact same thing that we always do at the point. You wanna work two double crochets. A chain of two and two more double crochets just like that and now since we ended right here in the double crochet over here we want to start right here with the double crochet and then we'll chain two skip two double crochet into the next and you repeat that until you get to the end chain two skip two and in your last stitch right here you skip two and you'll have one stitch left you put three double crochets into that last stitch so no matter what row you're on your last stitch always gets three double crochets too your first and your last stitch will always get three double crochets no matter what row you're on so now you'll have these four chain two spaces, not counting the point there. Okay, row four, we're gonna chain one and turn, and we're gonna start off by putting three double crochets into our very first stitch. And then we're going to chain three, and we're gonna single crochet into our next chain space. Chain three and single crochet into our next chain space. And we would, re we would repeat that until we got to the end here. Then we chain three, skip these two stitches, single crochet right here into this last stitch that and now we're at our point of our shawl so we're going to work two double crochets a chain of two and two more double crochets into that same stitch 
Now we ended right here in a single crochet at this last stitch, so we're going to start right here in a single crochet. And then we chain three, single crochet into our next chain space, and we just repeat that until we get to the end here. Chain three, single crochet into the next chain space chain three you'll have three stitches left you want to skip two and then the last stitch three double crochets and that will end row four and you'll have six chain three spaces here one two three four five six now we're not counting the point so row five we'll chain one and turn we always start three double crochets into the very first stitch so there's one two and three and we're going to put one double crochet in these two stitches here into the next two stitches. One double crochet in each of them. Now we're going to put three double crochets right through this chain three space. So go right through it and work three double crochets. and one double crochet into this single crochet and that's what we're going to kind of repeat until we get to the point of our poncho three double crochets into the next chain three space one double crochet into the next single three double crochets into the next chain three space one double crochet into this single the next single here and now we're at the point here so we want to put one double crochet in each of these two double crochets here And then when you get to the chain two space, we go ahead and work our two doubles. A chain of two. And then two more doubles. And we're kind of going to do the same thing on the other side. So we'll go ahead and put one double crochet into the next two stitches so one double into that double one double into the next double and then this single crochet here you have to put one double into that single and then three doubles into the next chain three space and one into the single three into the next chain three space one into the next single three into the next chain three space and you just keep repeating that until you get to the end And then you'll have when you get to the end you got three stitches left so one double into the next two and three doubles right here into the last stitch and that'll end row five and at the end of round five, you should have 42 stitches now. Round six, we're going to chain one and turn our work. Start out with our three double crochets into our very first stitch. And 
Now we're going to work front post double crochets into every stitch until we get to our chain two space. So we go around and we work, make sure you get the stitch here and front post double crochet. The next one, right around the post, front post double. We're going to do this in every single stitch. And this is what's going to create that ridge that you saw on the shawl. So one front post double in every stitch until you get to your uh, point of your shawl. Okay, I'm coming here to my point, doing my last front post double crochet. And now I'm at my chain two space, so I'm just going to go ahead and work my two doubles. Chain of two. And two more doubles. And then I'm going to continue working one front post double crochet in every stitch until I get to my last stitch. If you flip it over and look, you'll be able to see the ridge there. And it's okay if it's curling up. It's, it'll do that. It'll get worked out when you do the next row. That's the ridge it creates. So I'm going to continue working my one front post double crochet until I get to my last stitch. Okay, I'm coming to the end here and do my last front post double crochet and then my, I got one stitch left here. Sometimes you got to pull them apart to make sure you get in the right stitches. But you want to go ahead and put three double crochets into that last stitch. And that'll end round six. And now you should have 50 stitches. Around seven, we're going to chain one and turn. Now we're going to do some puff stitches. But first, we're going to start off by putting three double crochet into our very first stitch and then we're going to chain one I'm going to skip one stitch and I'm going to puff stitch into the next so I'm going to yarn over remember skip one go into the next stitch and draw up a loop now you want to do that three times so that counts as the first time so that's one Yarn over, go into the same stitch, drop a loop, that's two. Again, yarn over, go into the same stitch, drop a loop, that's three. You'll have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all seven, chain one to lock that puff stitch. So that's how you do the puff. Now we're going to skip one stitch and puff into the next. So we yarn over, remember we're going to skip one, go into the next stitch, drop a loop. We need to do that three times, so that was one. Yarn over, drop a loop, that's two. Yarn over, drop a loop, that's three. Seven loops, yarn over, go through all seven, and chain one to lock that puff. Again, we're going to skip one and puff into the next. So yarn over, go in and do your puff. And chain one, skip one and pop into the next. Just like that. Now we're going to repeat that all the way until we get to our chain two space. Skip one, pop into the next. Skip one, pop into the next. Okay, I'm coming here to the end. I have 
two stitches here. I'm going to skip one and I'll have put a puff into this last stitch before my chain two space. And then I want to chain one to lock it. Now into the chain two space, I'll do my two double crochets. Chain two and two more doubles. Now I'm going to start off how I ended over here. So I want to chain one and pop into the very first stitch. And chain one and I'm just going to repeat what we did over here over here so skip one puff into the next skip one puff into the next just like that and we're going to do that until we get up here to the last stitch Okay, I'm coming to the end here. I did my last puff. I chained one. I have two stitches left, so I want to skip one. And in the last stitch, I'm going to put my three double crochets. And that will end round a row seven. And you should have uh, 24 puffs now. So that's what it's starting to look like. Now row eight which is the last repeat row we're going to chain one and turn our work start out by putting three doubles into the very first stitch and now we're going to put one double in each of these next two double crochets And then it's one double crochet into every chain one space and into the top of every puff. So we're going to put a double right through this chain one space. And then double into the top of the next puff. So I kind of go right about there. Double right here into the next chain one space. Double into the top of the next puff. So I always go into this spot right here. And then right through the chain one space. And then into up the next puff. And we want to repeat this until we get to our chain two space. The point of the shawl. Okay, I'm coming to the end here. I did a double crochet into the top of my last puff. Then I want to do one into the chain one space. And then one double crochet in each of these two double crochets here before we get to the chain two space. And then in the chain two space, we do our two doubles. Chain of two and two more doubles and then we're going to do one double crochet into these next two double crochets now this part you really got to watch it looks really tight together but there is a chain one there in between this puff and between this double crochet. This is the most this is the part you have to watch the most. You got to make sure you get this where your stitches won't add up right. So in between this double crochet and this puff, you need to put a double crochet cuz there is a chain one there. And then you also have to go into the top of that puff right here. So you got to kind of slide that double crochet over and go into the top of that puff. Just be just careful right there. Make sure you get all those stitches. And then it's 
double crochet into the next chain one and double crochet into the top of the next puff. So we're just repeating what we did on the other side until we get to our last stitch. Okay, I'm coming to the end here and I just did double crochet in that chain one space and I have these three stitches that remain. I'm going to put one double crochet into the next two and then three double crochets into the last. And that'll end row eight. You should have 68 stitches now. And it also ends the repeat. Now it's just a repeat of rows three through eight. Okay, now here's the only difference now. When you repeat rows three through eight, here's where I made the mistake in my video and I truly apologize. And I will show you up close so you will be able to see it on row five. Just turned around right here where we put the three double crochets in the chain space and then we double crocheted into the single and three double crochets into the chain space and then we double crocheted in a single. That is correct right there. Now every repeat after that, it's only two double crochets into the chain space and one into the single every repeat now the first one is the first row that you just seen that i just showed you is the only row that has three double crochets into the chain space one into the single three into the chain space one into the single you leave that just the way it is but every time you repeat row five from now on for the rest of the pattern only put two double crochets into the chain space and one into the single it's like that on every row. You start it the same, but when you get to the chain space, it's only two doubles in that chain space instead of three. I'm very sorry. See, it's a very easy to, it's, I say it's easy to fix it. See, every row is the same. Two doubles into the chain space instead of three. The first row has to be three into the chain space, but every time you repeat row five after that, it's only two doubles into the chain space. I say, like I said, I said it's an easy fix, but if you've gotten so far, I, I apologize. I mean, I'm so sorry. I don't ever mean to make mistakes. Now, the shawl is, it does take on a little bit of a U shape, but not as much as I've been seeing people have been showing me their work, and it doesn't take on as much as a U shape as what everybody's been showing me, and that's how I knew that there was something wrong with my video but it does have a slight u it's not a straight completely straight across shawl but it's not a real big u like some of them were having really big u's and i knew like this and i knew that it wasn't correct so i just wanted to address my mistake and i have taken down the old video if you have been working on this and you like the way yours looks i mean I think that, I mean, you can continue it if you don't mind it. It's probably going to be really wavy. Um, the stitches should come out right. If I mean, if the repeats are working out for you, I don't know why they all wouldn't work out. But uh, like I said, it's going to be super curvy up here and it's going to be really wavy. But if you don't mind it looking like that and you've already gotten so far, I mean... Sure, I'm still. I'm sure it's still going to be a beautiful shawl, but if you want it to look like mine, you'll have to fix that mistake that I made in the video. But that's it. So I'll show you one more time just to make sure that you understand. On row five, in the beginning, you do just like I just showed you in the tutorial: three double crochets into the chain space, and one into the single. Every repeat row, though, after that, every repeat row five is only two double crochets into the chain space and one into the single it's only two instead of three every row after that it's always two instead of three into that chain space and that's going to make a world of difference to the way your project works so 
again i'm sorry if this is your first time doing the video you got lucky and you didn't catch i caught the mistake before you seen it but i know a lot of people started on it and i'm sorry that i made you waste all that time but i just wanted to address my mistake before anybody else started on it so i apologize and if you start if you do it that way it's going to turn out just like mine now i did a total of 38 rows starting from row one all the way down was 38 now i ended in the uh, row a double crochet after the puff so I ended in a complete repeat now you can do more as many you can make it as big as you want you just keep repeating those rows but at the end of that row all I did was just tie it off I still got to hide my tail but that's it that's all there is to it now if you feel like you want to clean up the top edge you can definitely just go right across the top with single crochet if you want to you can add um, fringe if you wanted to, or a single crochet border, or any kind of border you wanted. But I just left mine kind of plain. Since it was kind of sleek lined, I just kind of left it sleek at the bottom at the end too. But you do it however you want. But that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Hope you're able to follow along okay. It's a pretty easy shawl once you get the repeat down. Just, um, Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like I said, if you check in the description box, you'll see the automatic auto subscribe link there. And um, don't forget to check out all my other tutorials. I have hundreds of them for you to enjoy. So until next time, have a good day.